Hello every people, my name is Jax and welcome to the channel. So into first of all, uh, welcome to all the new subscribers. I'm up to 251 subscribers now, so it'll probably go down now I've said that. But yeah, um, hello to everyone. Fa and also thanks to my existing subscribers and stuff like that. Thanks for not uh, unsubscribing because my subscriber count is going up very slowly, but it is going up. So I'm happy about that. And yeah, and welcome to to anyone that's new and uh, thanks. Yeah, so in my last video, I was trying to explain that um, I'm sort of looking into motion matching. But at the same time, I'm struggling with doing um, custom animations and custom characters for motion matching. and currently i have my own character that i've made and my own animations in in the motion matching look so i just i just want to um shout out a couple couple channels because uh, it's not took me ages to learn this but it there is a couple of things that's important so when i've been going through the tutorials i've noticed that the root bone is majorly important force root lock is majorly important and stuff stuff like that but what i want to explain is that i'm very new to unreal i'm very new to skeletal rigs and skeletons and animations and all that sort of stuff so some of this stuff it might just be common knowledge to some people watching this video but but to me i i don't understand a lot of it so yeah i'm having to sort of learn from the bottom up and, and and just find any information that i can so i just want to shout out a, a few channels because there's a channel called unreal magic that's really really good and it and it says how to add a root bone to a mixamo character but that tutorial is actually out of date now so what you do is you you download the mixamo plugin for blender and it converts and gives you a root bone but that doesn't seem to work anymore so but still shout out that channel. It's a really good channel. Um, second channel I want to share is just another dang, uh, just another dang tutorial channel. Really, really good channel. And they're they're showing some current uh, techniques for for root bones and and um, custom animations and stuff. And then the next channel is Smart Poly. And Smart Poly, I did a motion matching tutorial. Smart Poly and. I learned something that is vital to the the motion matching when you're doing um custom characters and stuff. So when you set up a motion match, you set you set up a schema first, and the schema, uh, you just select what skeletal mesh mesh that you want the schema to be, right? So say I set up a schema. Now you go to motion match. Post schema. Um, which one is this dumb frog? Right, and then just do that. Just call it whatever. Right, when you open this, right, see foot L, foot R, right. So when you go to this bit, it, uh, uh, open a schema, you select your skeleton, channels, index one, sampled bones, foot L, foot R, right. If I didn't have them selected, right? I mean, not selected. So, so you set the set the schema up, and it says foot L and foot R. On the motion to this, if I throw um, an animation in, it's working now because I've set it up. But it it wouldn't have nothing would come up. It would just be blank, and you'd be like, what? Right. So uh, I don't know if I'm explaining this right. So say you're say you're setting up a schema, then you're setting up your motion search data, uh, motion database, and you're throwing your animations in, and it's blank, right? What you need to do is you need to go to your schema, and you need to search the foot that is actually the foot. So as default, it's foot L, right? So you need to go um, find under bones, left foot. right foot and then just save and then what when you put the sample when you put your um animations in 
they'll show up because look, there's the two feet. It must be something to do with how they're um I, I mean it's obviously something to do with the feet. But yeah, you need to make sure that when you set your schema up that um that them feet the feet for the skeleton that you're using are selected and you need to make sure that they're all um they're all root locked. They're all um enable root motion and force root lock. Right, so they're not quite working with some of them animations because I've um I've been messing around, I've been experimenting a lot. But this one, look, the animation's working fine. Working cool. Enable root motion, force root lock, it's working. Um put it into the put it into where was that? A B testy. I just put that in there. Look, it's just it's just there. It just it just works, right? So I don't want I actually don't want that animation in, right? But to get to this point where I can put animations in and retarget animations, I had to edit the skeleton and put a root bone in. So the Mixamo um plugin that I got for Blender apparently adds the root bone for for it for your skeleton. I mean, you can build your own skeleton and and add your root bone in anyway. But if you're getting your skeleton from Mixamo, if you put a custom character in Mixamo and, and download it with the skeleton in it, it won't have a root bone. And the root bone is vital for the motion matching. So to add a root bone in um, Unreal, what you need to do is you need to go to your plugins skeletal mesh editing tools and then just click that and then it will say it's beta and uh restart then you restart and then this thing comes up at the side you get this little um screen now and then you just edit skeleton and then you can just edit and then you add your root bone so the way that the guy did it and this was on that just another dang um tutorial he he just took the hips which was the first bone to start with because it wasn't a root he copied it and then he reparented it back and then the root he zeroed it out. Um yeah, very 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 smart, very very smart channel. And also he was showing something about um the IK targets for the feet. So he did this really cool thing, yeah. And I, I didn't even know you could do this, and I'm I will be looking into this because it's really cool. So he IK target the left and right foot. So when he went up to this ramp, it was sort of like a line trace in the feet. When he went, when he, when he went up to the ramp, it stepped onto the ramp with the one foot, stepped off, stepped back up to the ramp with the other foot. See if you look at now, when you go onto the ramp, it's just in the air. There's no, there's no uh, like animation to that. He's just in the air or he's up, off the thing. See, but he had it so. The IK was stepping onto the step, which I thought was really cool. Add that to the, all these motion matching animations and that. I mean, the motion matching doesn't look brilliant on this at the moment, but I've just I'm just figuring it out at the moment. But they are they're not custom animations, but they might as well be because um because I've retargeted them and I've um added it to a skeleton that that's my own skeleton and stuff so it's not so much that they are custom animations but it, it does it like the way it is at the moment if i made a custom animation i could just throw it into this character anyway so uh yeah they might as well like all i need to know basically is how to do it and i know this this video isn't a tutorial but i just wanted to show you that thing with the that thing with the um schema to make sure that you have feet the the right feet enabled on the schema and also what else did it yeah so make sure that you've got the right feet on the schema and also that um plugin so you can edit the skeleton but but yeah watch them watch that channel just another dang tutorial to how to add a root bone 
and then watch the Smart Poly um, getting started with Motion Match tutorial. And uh, it, it should help you actually, especially if you're in sort of my situation where you don't really know much ab about all this stuff and you're kind of new to it. And also that you, you might be using Mixamo skeletons or Mixamo animations and stuff like that. But yeah, th that's about it. Um, just just thought to show you that I'm, I'm sort of getting on with it, I suppose. But yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.